Hello guys, nice to see you. And uh, as I promised in my previous video, today I will tell you about uh, restoring, repairing of uh, Supernova receiver. Uh, this is a shotgun of uh, one of my friends. Uh, during the competition, uh, at this shotgun, he uh, has a shot. Um, when the bolt was not locked. The situation with this shot was next. Uh, during uh, shooting at the stage the firing pin at his uh, supernova's bolt was jammed in forward position like that. Oh, I, you can see it, yes. And um, when bolt was going forward, the firing pin knock to the primer, and uh, it caused the shot, but uh, bolt was not was not locked at the barrel. And uh, after that, the receiver change his original dimensions. If you can look closely, you can see more closely, you can see that here and here the receiver is wider than in original uh, good condition shotguns. You can see it in compare See, this is good working shotgun, and one more time, you can see it here and here, this is shotgun with problem. And after that, uh, as this shotgun begins the problems with uh, shell feeding, my friend has uh, no feeds had double feeds and uh, this shotgun is not working properly. Uh, I know it was an um, unusual situation, it was a critical situation uh, and uh, in some next video I will tell you uh, how to avoid problem with firing pin but now I need to restore this receiver. The dimension, the distance between the wall in this shotgun, between the walls of receiver, is 33 and half of millimeters. And the original distance between the wall, a normal distance between the wall and supernova, is 31 and quarter. When you are shooting a lot, when you are shooting your supernova a very lot, a very long time, you also may uh, have problems with no feed or double feeds. One of the reasons of these problems also can be connected with your receiver. The supernova receiver is not a solid metal body like uh, Mossberg uh, 590 or like Remington. 870 construction of uh, supernova's receiver is um, complete from a uh, steel frame from metal frame but no not a full body metal frame that is covered by plastic and if you are shooting a lot uh, distance between walls it is the uh, weak this distance here in this place it is the weak place of receiver, this distance became wider and wider and wider. When this distance became wider, then it's normal, uh, your latch, this latch, left, left hand latch, right hand latch, begins to move. You can see, moving, or 
I can you can see it better. See? Uh, they are moving inside your receiver and are working not correctly. Sometimes uh, you can have no feed because uh, latch is locked. Sometimes you can hit, uh, you can have double feeds because uh, latch uh, uh, latch that uh, must stop second feed before feeding of the first shot shell is not working correctly. When your receiver is in good condition, the both latch are blocked tightly by the receiver's body, receiver's wall, and you can uh, see. On this receiver, you can see at this place scratch. Yeah, here, here, and another side also. You can see some scratching. Uh, this is places of uh, contact of your uh, latches with uh, receiver body. When receiver is tight, latches are working correctly. But when receiver became wider, the sludge begins to move. So I need to restore this receiver and uh, I will show you how to do it. And you must remember that when you are shooting a lot, it can be 10,000 shots. 20,000 shot, 30,000 shot, you also need to restore, to repair your Supernova's receiver. Because if you do not uh, do this, you will have problems with uh, shell fitting. So, let's go. You can see it's not so hard and you can do it uh, by yourself. Okay, let's start. As you can see, uh, the, the main pin of uh, trigger assembly is situated deeper. The first, the second is standing normal. And I will show it again. You can see here the wall. The walls of receiver are visible. This is not normal. Before repairing we need to uninstall all the part of shotgun. And the repairing process is very same the process of repair, repairing of forend. You also need clamps, you also need electronical heater, and you need something, something strong enough to put it the receiver before heating and clamping. I am using building material for the walls, walls of buildings. It's uh, strong enough and it's not so strong to damage body of receiver. At first I need to measure distance between the walls. Most wide place it is 33 and 71. It is too much. First you need to install the protection and install the
clamps. As you see, when I when I'm pressing clamps, distance between the walls is changing. But you need to fix it in good dimension and. Now here we have 30 2 and quarter, but we need 31 and quarter. So I'm pressing more. And checking again. Thirty one and eighty three more. I need to press more. Set one fifty nine. A little bit more. The pressing is very hard. The problem is larger <coughs> because this material began to destroy and I need to put something here to prevent it from deformation. For better pressing uh, I put two wooden pieces here 31 and half oh here is 30 62 this is smaller distance, but it is not problem. We need to restore this part. Okay, when this sandwich is ready, we starting to heat it up, but do not overheat your receiver over than oh, 100 degrees by Celsius. To control this, I will use this electronic thermometer. Let's go! When you receive the temperature, of receiver, you need to leave it slowing cooling down but to make cooling down slowly more slowly you need to cover the receiver by something to make this process as slow as possible the more slow and sl slow it will be cooling the more effective result will be. So leave it, I think, less 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes, and uh, check it after that. As you see, guys, uh, the process of uh, receiver preparing is uh, restoring is uh, easy. Uh, you can do it by yourself and I wish you a uh, thousand and thousand of shots uh, with your shotgun without any problems and uh, see you in next video. Bye bye.